Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about histogram. Suppose if they are asking histogram for 5 marks questions, you have to write the contents what we are going to discuss in this video. This is taken from unit 7 for BSc nursing students that is introduction to statistics in nursing research taken from subject nursing research and statistics. This video is also useful for post basic BSc nursing students and MSc nursing students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Histogram. What is histogram? So, to have a brief introduction about histogram, it is most commonly used graph for group and frequency distribution, mainly in case of continuous data. Okay, it is most commonly used graph for group and frequency distribution that is mainly continuous data. So, you have x axis which represents variable characters and y axis which represent number of observations. That is, frequency of each group will be forming a rectangle or column or a bar. Such a graph is called histogram. So, this is in short about histogram. That is, it is most commonly used graph. Mainly, it is used for group data that is in continuous series. And the x variable will be in the x axis, you will be marking the variable characters of different groups. Whereas, in the y axis, you will be marking the frequency that is the number of observations. Then, when you are plotting it, the frequency of each group will be forming a rectangle or a bar or a column. Such a graph is called as histogram. Let's see what is histogram. It is a representation of frequency distribution by means of rectangles whose width represents class interval and whose areas are proportional to the corresponding frequencies. So, it is a representation of a frequency distribution, mainly continuous frequency distribution by means of rectangles. So, when you are plotting it, you will be getting the rectangles whose width represent class interval and whose areas are proportional to the corresponding frequencies. So, to have better clarification about histogram, it is nothing but graphical representation of the frequency distribution of the data in bar form or rectangle form or column form is called as histogram. So, it summarizes data from a process that has been collected over a period of time. So, it, it uh, gives a clear picture about uh, the process that has been collected uh, over a period of time. So, it summarizes the data from a process that has been collected over a period of time. Histograms provide the easiest ways to evaluate the distribution of data by seeing the histogram itself. Uh, so, visually you will be having an idea about the distribution of the data. When histograms are used, when you want to represent the data graphically, that is large data, when it should be summarized graphically, you can use histograms. Then you can compare measurement to specifications, okay. So, in your one variable, in x variable, y variable, you can compare, okay. Communicate information to the team easily. Visually, you can communicate information to the team. Assist in decision making. It helps in decision making. What are the parts of a histogram? So, histogram. Histogram is made up of five parts. That is title, horizontal or x-axis, bars, vertical or y-axis and legend. So, what is title? So, for any histogram, you have to give a title or heading of the uh, histogram. Next to horizontal or x-axis. See here in horizontal or x-axis already I have told you will be measuring you will be mentioning the characteristics of variables. The horizontal or x-axis shows you the scale of values into which the measurement will be fitting. Next is bars. So the bars have two components that is the height as well as width. Okay, the height represents the number of times the values within an interval occurred. Okay, so the height represents the number of times the values within the interval occur, whereas the width represents the length of the e interval covered by the bar. So, this uh, width is um, same for all the bars, whereas the height may vary, okay, depending on the number of observations, the height may vary, but the width 
of the bar is going which is represented in x axis it is going to be same okay same for all the bars okay next is vertical or y axis so in the vertical or y axis the number of times or the number of observations the frequency everything is represented in the vertical or y axis next is legend so the legend provides additional information the documents where data came from and how the measurements were gathered so this legend uh, is not a uh, placed in all histograms sometimes when you are taking some graphical uh, uh, data you are taking the data evidences from any governmental sources or from any statistical evidences which has been collected previously that time you will be giving a note that this information has been taken from so, so and so statistics has been taken from uh, who statistics in the year uh, 2002 2010 like that and all you will be taking or suppose the information has been taken from indian council of medical research or indian academy of pediatrics like that you will be giving a keynote note so that is called as legend let me show an example to represent the parts of the histogram so that you will be having a better idea or visualization about the thing parts of a histogram see here the first one is title that is days of operation prior to failure for an hf receiver so this is your title second one horizontal x axis that is days of operation 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 56 60 so everything so the difference is 5 so it is equal for all the thing okay so 2 represents horizontal or x axis then 3 represents the bars see here the vertical uh, sorry um, the columns or rectangular bars okay next the vertical y axis is represented by 4 which represents the frequency frequency 0 20 40 60 80 100 so this is y axis next is legend see this information where they have taken this information is taken from mean time between failure in days for r1051 hf receiver data taken at saima sima pearl harbor 15th may to 15th july 94 so like this uh, um, the information has been taken so and so that information you are giving now so that is fifth so almost in all the histograms compulsory you will be having the first uh, four uh, things this fifth one is additional if you have you can specify it otherwise no need to specify it the legend is an optional part okay steps in histogram first step is count number of data points how much you have to do it then step two summarize on a tally sheet then compute the range highest value lowest value so that you can uh, formulate the x axis and the y axis then how many intervals you need determine number of intervals and width of the intervals for example 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 or sometimes 0 to 10 10 to 20 similarly in y axis also 20 30 40 like that uh, it goes on step 6 uh, determine interval starting points uh, starting points whether it is from 0 or it is from uh, 100 like that you have to have a starting point uh, then uh, step 7 count number of points in each interval step 8 plot the data step 9 add title and legend if it is there okay legend alone if it is uh, applicable you can apply it so steps in histogram count number of data points summarize on tally sheet compute the range determine number of intervals compute interval width determine interval starting points count number of points in each interval plot the data add title and legend let's see an example for histogram see here age in years which is represented in x-axis 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, 35 to 40. So, this you can plot in x axis. So, here the width of each thing is 10, 0, 10, um, 0, 5, 10, 
फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी ओके नेक्स्ट हियर इन वाई एक्सिस इट इज नंबर ऑफ मेल्स नंबर ऑफ मेल्स फ्रीक्वेंसी सो टेन टू फिफ्टीन इयर्स इट इज ट्वेंटी सो द ग्राफ ब्लू कलर आई हैव गिवन टू मार्क टेन टू फिफ्टीन टेन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव देन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इज थर्टी विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन ग्रीन कलर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी इट इज फिफ्टीन विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन पर्पल कलर थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव अगेन इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन ग्रीन कलर then 35 to 40 it is represented in orange color so like that so this is an example for how to plot an histogram with the data has been given you have to draw histogram in such a way so this is an example for drawing an histogram so what are the advantages of histogram so it display large amount of data that are difficult to interpret in tabular form so by seeing this itself you will be knowing easily you can tell how many males are there in the age group of 10 to 15 years like that so a large amount of data can be interpreted in tabular form or graphical form so is the relative frequency of occurrences of the various data values so here 20 to 25 years it is represented in green color how many members are they 30 members are there so by seeing it itself you can tell how much frequency you can identify it next reveal the variation centering and distribution shape of data so you know how the data has been distributed okay what variation it is having and where the data has been uh, centered everything you can uh, see by means of this graphical representation very useful when calculating capability of your process so that you can uh, predict future performance of your process so you can assess the performance of a particular thing so that based on the performance you can predict the future of that particular uh, innovation or process what you have introduced disadvantages moving on to disadvantages you cannot you, uh, do it for discrete data like that and only with continuous data you can plot this type of histogram so more difficult to compare two set of data so in case of two set of data and all if you want to compare the best thing is bar diagram not this histogram okay so it is very difficult to compare two set of data cannot read exact values because the data is grouped in categories so continuous data 0 to 10 years means uh, uh, we are telling 12 members are in the age group of 0 to 10 years uh, so we don't know exactly 5 uh, 5 years how many people are there we cannot tell because it is a range from 0 to 10 years totally we are having 12 members so exactly if you want to know how many people are in the age group of 5 years you may not know so that is a disadvantage of histogram so why i have posted this video on histogram means because already i have given here for two mark question uh, like that uh, in histogram uh, if it comes to two mark question just write the definition give an example like that uh, uh, but uh, even they are asking for five marks you have to write all these things in order to get five marks uh, so sometimes they will be asking only histogram for that only i have given this thing already i have posted a video on presentation of data in the form of graphs where i have given about a histogram line graph wogiva uh, cumulative frequency curve um, bar diagram pie diagram uh, maps etc everything have been given in that presentation of data in the form of uh, graphs i i'll be giving the link in the end card as well as in the description box you can watch that uh, video also so if you have any doubts in this video please feel free to post your doubts in the comment section if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel